Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can apply actions to selected slide objects to allow the users of your PowerPoint presentation to navigate the presentation by themselves or allow them to click a button and open a related linked file or web page. You can insert various action buttons into your slide by clicking the Shapes drop-down button that appears in the Illustrations button group of the Insert tab in the ribbon, and then clicking on the Desired Action button face to insert from the Action Buttons category. Then click and drag over the area in the slide where you want the action button to appear to insert it. As soon as you insert an action button, the Action Settings dialog box appears. Use this dialog box to set the action that occurs for this button. There are only two events or user actions that you can program actions for. Mouse over, which is when the user rolls their mouse pointer over the button, and mouse click, which is when the user clicks the button. So click the tab that corresponds to the event for which you want the action to occur. On the selected tab, you can simply choose the option button to select which action should occur when the user triggers the specified event. Select the appropriate action and fill in the program to launch or web page or file to open. Then click the OK button to apply the action. Note that you can select any slide object and then click the action button that appears in the links button group on the insert tab of the ribbon to open the same action settings dialog box. This allows you to program actions to occur for any selectable slide object. You can then set the action you want to occur on either tab in this dialog box and then click the OK button to apply the action. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.